So you've registered for Dreamscape as an educator. Your students have been added. They've started playing too. What can you now do to enhance their learning experience? After your students start playing, you will see data begin to populate on your educator dashboard. In this video, I will walk through the different aspects of the dashboard that you could use to observe skills and inform instruction. On your homepage, you will see an overview of various reports for you to access. The overviews give you data based on play in the last seven days. Each of these overviews can be expanded into a full report for you to play around with by date range. And based on what you choose, you will be able to see a breakdown by student. For questions answered at home and at school, this is calculated based on how many questions were answered before or after 3 p.m. local time. The leaderboard you see here is slightly different from the leaderboard students see on the game screen. As mentioned in my previous video, in the game, students move up and down the leaderboard based on the number of shards they've obtained. The leaderboard you see on your educator dashboard is based on accuracy of questions answered. The skills report is a good one to use to help inform instruction in class. It allows you to see which skills were practiced by your students in the date range that you selected, how well they did with individual skills, and how many students practiced it. Clicking on student details for any one of the skills gives you a breakdown by student as well. While our game is an adaptive one and continues to deliver the right content to students based on their individual reading levels, if you would like to have more control over the content that your students see, you could opt to use the assignment tool on your dashboard. You can select from genre-based or skill-based assignments or even a content pack in any appropriate grade level. You could also assign test prep assignments to your students to give them content aligned to your state's standardized reading test. Each of these have four levels of difficulty. Only the novice level is available in the free plan. For access to other levels, you will need to upgrade to the premium version. To find out more about what is covered in each level, click on Description. This will lead you to a page describing what to expect in the particular test prep assignment, as well as specific state standards that align to it. The placement test is a test that begins as soon as a student first starts playing Dreamscape. It starts automatically and is a stealth test. Students do not know on the game site that they are undergoing a diagnostic test. Once students start playing, you will see data populate here, giving you information about where the system placed them. If you have the premium version of the dashboard, you can reassign the placement test if you find that the results do not match your expectations for a certain student or if the student is coming back to Dreamscape after a break. After your students have played for a while, you can monitor their overall reading level over time. Find any student on the reading level report and scroll over the graph to view your student's reading level by date. Do you want to reward your games, your students in game? You can now click on Give Rewards. The common reward box is currently unlocked for you to assign, but you can look forward to more rewards coming soon. Premium users can give out unlimited rewards, while free users have a maximum of three to give out in a month. For more resources like printable certificates and activities or tips and tricks for your students, check out our resource hub. If you have any further questions as you implement Dreamscape in your classroom, please feel free to contact us.